understood the assignment. Mm. 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 Period. I just have one thing to say. Sis Trin. Sis. Mother girl. Mother goose. That shit right there gets the pussy every time. You did the damn thing. Greetings. I know we haven't smoked in a while. A bitch been trying to say so many. And just trying to get the things and all of the people or whatever together. Get the life together. Get the finances together. You know, all of the things. I really had to like hunker down. Stack the bag a little bit, you know. And just take care of a couple of things. But, are you ready to smoke? Because I'm ready to smoke. Cool. I'll have a lighter. Excuse me while I go like this on the stove. One minute, 37 seconds later. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck! We're gonna try this again. Yeah, one more motherfucking time. One more for the culture. Hold on. There we go. Today, I am partaking in a beautifully rolled, might I add, a nice, deliciously dark, chocolate, thick, bang, <laughs> honeyberry backwood. Don't know what kind of weed it is, honestly. I uh, got this from one of uh, an old plug, but in relation to that person, because the nigga done got his life together so whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean i also have mm. so panda oh jesus hold the fuck up jesus oh boy one more i probably this is the last one this is the last one i'm just the last one okay yeah about to pass it calm down oh i just don't want this shit to go out because i ain't got a lighter i don't feel like keep going back to the damn stove i have panda express today exciting i know here we have fried rice, lo mein. Can y'all say? Fried rice, lo mein, uh, the honey walnut, shrimp, and a fucking orange chicken. As you can see, I already started dibbling and dabbling in the food. Anyway, that's my business. Now, mm, mm. for a colonized cuisine, when Pan Express is fresh and hot, Girl, she do the pussy. Y'all ever been to um fucking Panda Express? You know, the honey walnut shrimp is where it's at. Bitch, I'm sorry if I'm smacking too. But when the food is good, the food is good. Oh, let me go grab some water real quick. I'm a little parched. BRB. So, I don't really have a lot to say. Really? I don't know. Well, first of all, how was your day? How how has your week been? No, he didn't, girl. For real, bitch. Where he at? Where he at? Which what? My week has been great, honestly. Um, yesterday for surprisingly, I don't know why, but I had a really good day yesterday. I woke up positive. I went to work positive. I got through the day like I was fucking with the people. I was entertaining the people. Like nobody gave me no issues. It was a really good day yesterday. And again, like my whole week has been good. And I don't want to use the word surprisingly to like sound like, you know, whatever. But I don't know. It's been a really good week. And I'm happy. I know nobody cares anyway. But I know I haven't like really been posted or active on my Instagram. I haven't did anything in like months. But that was because like I really, I really have been trying to like get out this rut and to really get on my shit because I had so much shit I wanted to do by the end of this year that it isn't going to happen and that's okay <laughs> um I feel like everything's supposed to happen when it's going to so I'm just going to ride the wave and just let shit naturally happen but I really had a goal set for myself that I wanted to accomplish um but Again, that didn't happen, so I just got to keep pushing, and I realized that I was slagging off, and I felt like I wasn't doing everything that I could. I was very much worried about, like, everybody else and other people and, like, a lot of shit that was going on around me, and I had to, like, take a step back and be like, yo, like, 
I'm not old, but like, it doesn't want to sound like we're real, real dumb, but it's like, bitch, I'm about to hit 30, I feel like, and I have shit that I want to do by then, and it's not going to happen with the mindset that I was in before, so, thanks. but bitch, we here, I'm glad to be smoking with you, I miss you, and yeah. I'll be back. Sorry. Sorry. I had to go like this. But yeah. So, before I go, I just want to say, I feel like this is a safe space because, you know, all niggas in here. Black women are amazing. And I say that because we have been carrying the music industry for so long. And it's about time that we are finally getting the recognition that we deserve as black women, as black queens, as black goddesses. At the end of the day, the niggas just ain't doing it for me. Like, shout out to motherfucking Ari Lennox. Shout out to motherfucking um, Ariana. She's part of the black community as well. Shout out to um, Yeba. She's part of the black community as well. Shout out to motherfucking Zendaya. She been out here doing it with the fashions. Shout out to motherfucking um, Chloe, period, with the motherfucking hand mercy. Black women have really been doing it for me. And I'm just proud to be part of the community. And I'm just proud to be black, girl. And it's just a good time to be niggas. Like, period. I don't know if y'all can hear the dog, but like, he's obviously calling my name. So I'm going to go. I'm coming. We can smoke probably later. Um, I'll call you. Mm. I'll call you later, girl. I'm about to go finish my food. And I gotta go walk him, and I got some shit to do anyway. But you can come back over later and we can smoke again, because, like, I got plenty at the budget. Bye, girl. Oh.